In this video, I'm going to talk through creating a custom prefab and its associated prefab data. The first thing to do is to create a script called my prefab or whatever you would like to name your prefab script. When creating a custom prefab script, there are two interfaces you'll need to implement. One is optional and one is required. The required interface is imapped prefab. When implementing imapped prefab, there are two functions that need to be added to your script. The first is update state, which will inform your script when the media is about to transition, is at the transition point, or has finished transitioning. The second and arguably more important function is update data. Update data will pass in the prefab element element and the associated node data, which will allow you to interrogate anything about the node that you're currently in or the prefab element itself. When implementing iPrefab data consumer, you're given one property and one method. The property tells C360 the exact class type of the data you'd like to associate with this prefab. In our case, we've created one called my prefab data, which we'll show you in a second. The method inject prefab data is what C360 calls when this prefab is created, and it injects it with whatever data was created in the mapping panel. The second script that you'll need to create is your data script. The data script must inherit from prefab data and has a few options for things to override. If your data has any validity checking, then you can override the is valid property, but it's not necessary. If you have defaults that you'd like to load, perhaps from resources or simply static initialization, you can override the load defaults method, and you can create serialized fields or public fields that will then appear as options in the mapping panel. Once you've created both of those scripts, create your prefab object, give it a name, add your prefab scripts to it, and drag it into your project view under a resources folder to create the prefab. You can then delete the prefab from your scene hierarchy. With your prefab ready to go in your project view, you can load your tour, add a prefab, navigate to the prefab you'd like to add, the one you just created, put it in your mapping panel, and click new to create a new runtime data. As you can see, the my string field with its default value comes up in this editor. How you use your prefab data or your prefab element or node data is up to you. It's also worth noting that if you'd like to know the current timestamp of the video node you're in, or how long you've been in an image node, you can access this through digitalsalmon.c360.time.seconds.